we have felt it quite a bit here in Milo, Maine, and especially in the auto parts business. They did a lot of business in here. They'd probably be in and out of this store 10 to 20 times a day, order stuff constantly for us, pick it up, pay for it the same day. I mean, with with that business gone, it's 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 hurting us quite quite a bit around here in town. I know a lot of the customers that used to work for the railroad still come in and talk and go at it, and they're still tinkering on their own things, but their spirits are down. Spirits are down. Oh, I think it's affected every everything to speak of all over the place. Gas stations, repair shops. You know, even the guy. You know, the guys ain't working. They're not. They're bumming as everybody is. I'm not getting very much work from the railroad right now in repairs. <laughs> they did a lot of business with us. When this first happened, uh, it's, it's, it's quite an impact on the store. It's quite an impact on the business. No one is spending the extra money that they usually would spend for, you know, the extra items like pizza and ice cream, etc. And um, they all had to tighten their belts. I don't know what they're going to do this winter, or us for that matter. <laughs> but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll struggle through. Roxanne and Quimby's company has reopened 40,000 acres to the hunters and for snowmobiling. So that's going to bring business back.